brand new Eredivisie cards have entered the game in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. We do have four brand new cards today on Tuesday. So we're going to be taking a look at all of them, taking a look at the SBC, the what if. Is he on track to get an upgrade to an 87 rated card? And also we are going to be taking a look at the milestone objectives, how to get them as quickly as possible. Is it even going to be worth it? So getting straight into this video now, we do have loads of different cards and it might be a little bit confusing. On the Footbin popular page, you can see that it's definitely going to be all Eredivisie plays for quite a while. We will see how long it's going to last, probably just until Friday, but there's definitely lots of lots of hype around this. There is going to be Dumfries, Rule Breakers already up in price, Promes Road to the final, we do have Anthony as well, Future Stars, loads of different cards that you can get from the transfer market, but I'm sure all of you guys do have loads of different untradeable cards as well. We do have that Robin, so many different cards that will be taking a look at in squad building a little bit later on but these are the three new milestone objectives that we do have the final player that you are going to be unlocking is going to be the left wing german and to be honest when you take a look at the other two of these cards i do think gravenberg and also the other cards that we did have the right wing van bergen they were actually a lot better in my personal opinion i definitely use them in my foot champion squad but these ones i don't really see how they can really get in here only if you are going to be building a full of easy team then these can be quite useful but definitely i would say gravenberg and also van burge they are absolutely amazing definitely gravenberg specifically but with these three you don't really see anything that stands out like that these two of course left the left wing and the left back they are german air they're meant to be linking to each other like we do have sort of with robin or kleiber or dumfries and van bergen but i don't really get too excited especially right now when we are so late into the fifa cycle maybe they're not going to be the most usable but for the full squad it is going to be very nice indeed that we can be using it the stats they do look pretty generic there isn't really going to be anything too special that you are going to be finding in here i would say the striker i would much rather use a promes or the malin the showdown that i did actually get but also we did get a brand new what if card today and it is going to be an eredivisie cdm so this is why there is more pop sort of today to the eredivisie content and all of this potential squad that we could be building i would say without this SBC wouldn't have been as exciting maybe wouldn't have been recording this video but definitely this is a very interesting card and I'm going to be completing him for sure just because I want to have all of the area of easy cards possible and I do think with an 87 upgrade it isn't really going to be anything too bad at all it isn't going to be anything extremely amazing that's what we have established but I do think next to Gravenberg they can make very very good CDM partnerships and he definitely needs that 87 in my opinion but I do think he's going to hit that it's not too difficult. He's going to be having to score the six goals in the five games because he does still count as an attacker or a midfielder, of course, a center defensive midfielder. But for an under 100k SBC, I wouldn't mind this at all. And I'm just going to be using SBC fodder that I do have stocked up in my club. And also we do have this center back, Eredivisie, who links perfectly to this brand new CDM. And the reason everyone is talking about him because you did have this option level 15 in the current season. Maybe some of you guys are still doing that and if you are thinking of doing the SBC it does make sense that you are going to be choosing him I did choose him myself so that is also very exciting and that's a nice little thing that you can have that partnership if you want to it is more of a casual approach it isn't going to be anything meta or weekend league serious probably but I still do think it is going to be very interesting and I might try it out in fit champions because why not these days just to have a little bit of fun so taking a look at the milestone objectives how are we going to be getting these cards if you do want to get them it is going to be under the milestones tabs of course and pretty much you are just going to have to be playing a lot of games and then winning actually around half of them you are going to have to be playing 18 in total and you are going to have to win eight of them this is going to be in foot friendlies managerial masterpiece so there is that set 77 max rating requirement so how could we possibly go ahead and find an Eredivisie team that's going to fit in there we do have loads of different untradeables so it's going to be very difficult to try and think of who could you possibly fit in here you do have to kind of decide beforehand who you want to be making it in you could have maybe like a robin and then you could also have someone like a promis or maybe a clay but i would recommend to have one center back if you do have a center back from eredivisie as a good rated player then that is going to be very very useful because you don't want people just coming in and scoring and then forcing you to go ahead and quit early so i have gone for this squad we can have gravenberg van bergen is in here it is quite balanced that is what I was
was looking for. I do have this Dumfries in here, but as we can see here on the bench as well, you can switch it in and out for Robin. Also, you do have Malin. You have this center mid if you need a low rated 75 rated to make it as low rated as possible. Just have all of the silver cards on the bench. That is definitely a must and just get the lowest rated ones possible. The lowest rated silvers you can get is 65 and the lowest rated golds is going to be 75 and just have a mix as well in your squad. I do have Dest. I wouldn't recommend it because Dest is currently not in packs with this Ajax version. So don't go for Dest. I purely just did it to make sure that I have the best squad possible possible but that's going to be more expensive and this goalkeeper is a little bit price fixed as well but you do have this Bodu and also this left wing you do have Kudus as well and this right winger 75 rated that are all going to be affordable on the transfer market so let me know down in the comments below are you guys going to be doing the first CDM SBC costing under 100k it is going down a little bit in price so that is good to see and are you going to be doing these objectives 100% I'm personally going to be doing the SBC to make sure hopefully fingers crossed he gets that two plus upgrade but these milestone objectives I might leave a little bit of a gap before I do start them I'm not really too interested I do have a Kuna showdown so I'm just going to have him and someone on the left wing linking up that partnership but let me know down in the comments below what you guys going to do thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time